This is a demonstration of a Keydeam Projects JIRA integration. We will be using the base Keydeam Projects JIRA integration uh, which can be used to create bespoke integrations to suit specific customer use cases and configurations of Keydeam Projects and JIRA. We're going to start first of all by creating a project in the Keydeam Projects environment and then showing how that project is replicated and created within the JIRA environment. So we're going to jump straight in here to create our new project. We'll select an appropriate project type and template. And we'll go ahead and give our project a name. So let's call this something like... and we'll go ahead and save that. If you jump across to the project search we can see our new project has now been created, there it is. And in this particular example of the configuration the trigger for creating the project in JIRA is a move of the project from one status to the next. So a movement through a gate from one stage of the project to the next stage using the standard Keydeam Projects workflow or lifecycle capability. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to move our project onto its next stage, moving it to project planning. We'll do that now. And moving it across to that new status is now in the background replicating or creating that project within the JIRA environment. And in fact, if I just refresh my screen, we can see that our new project now has a JIRA ID next to it. So let's have a look at that within the JIRA environment. Let's jump across to JIRA now, uh, and we'll do the same here. We will uh, refresh our screen and take a look at the uh, project. And here we can see our newly created KIP JIRA integrated project started life in Keating Projects and the integration has created it here within the JIRA environment. So what I'm going to do is to drill down into our JIRA project now and create some issues to work with. So in the backlog first of all I'm going to create a few issues. Uh, we'll call this issue number one. Issue number two. Issue number three. And then finally, issue number four. So all of those issues created in the JIRA environment currently sat in the backlog. They're now being replicated uh, in real time into Keating Projects. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. If we jump back to Keating Projects and we drill into our new project, we'll take a look at the task plan area. Now the standard template functionality within Keating Projects, uh, when we created our new project, generated a task plan for us uh, and it's created a series of example waterfall tasks. We can see those at the uh, at the top of the screen right here but also we can see our newly created issues that we generated in JIRA just a few moments ago. So effectively what we've got here is a bimodal view, a mixed mode view, uh, some will call it an, a wagile view, a, a mix of both the waterfall and the Agile elements all in one space. Now I'm going to jump back to the JIRA environment and start to make some progress on this project. So one of the first things I'm going to do is to move those uh, issues into a sprint. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll take issue one up into an active sprint, issue two into our active sprint and issue three. We'll leave issue four behind. I'm going to go ahead and start the sprint and we'll give the sprint a start date, uh, perhaps at the beginning of next week. Go ahead and save that. So that change now of moving our backlog issues into the sprint is being replicated back into Keydeam projects, along with the start date of that sprint being used to drive the start date of those tasks being created again in that Keydeam projects environment. Let's take a look at that now. We'll jump back to Keydeam projects and we'll reload the screen, refresh the view, and what we'll see is that three of our four issues as part of our JIRA plan, let's just check that out for editing, have now been added to our active sprint. 
take a look at that now. There it is. So there's the sprint name for three out of those four tasks. The fourth one, remember, we left back in the backlog. And indeed, that start date of the sprint has been used to drive the start date of those issues or tasks within the Keeling Projects environment. Okay, now what we're, get, what we're going to do is to jump back to Jira and make a little bit more progress. So we'll jump back to our Agile board and we're going to, first of all, to uh, show how we can uh, change the names of the issues and have those replicated in Keeling Projects. We're also going to add some progress and we're even going to capture some actual effort in the Jira work log. So let's first of all jump into one of these issues and we'll change its name. So rather than this being um, issue 001, let's call this new issue number one. Something slightly different. Go ahead and make that change. So that's updated the name of the issue in a moment. We'll see how that replicates in Keeling Projects. Next, what we're going to do is to move a couple of these issues from to do to in progress. And then finally, on one of these issues, we're going to jump in and capture some actual effort. So we'll do that by logging work within the JIRA environment. I'm going to say that we spent three hours working on that particular issue. We'll go ahead and save that. Okay. So as a reminder, what we've done there is we've changed the name of one of the issues. We've progressed two of the issues, uh, moving those from to do to in progress. And also uh, we've logged some work. Let's have a look at how all of that has been reflected in Keating Projects as well. So we'll jump back to our Keating Projects environment. Uh, we'll refresh the screen. And let's have a look at how those changes have been reflected within our bimodal or mixed mode view of our project. So we'll take a look at the bottom of the screen and we can see first of all the change to our issue, our issue name has been reflected. We can see also that the progress has been reflected as well. So the percent complete has been updated here in this example of the integration moving from not started to in progress simply updates percent complete from 0 to 50 percent and we can also see that of course represented graphically on the task bars there um, and then the last thing we did was to record some actual effort in the work log that's now being carried across to the appropriate timesheet within Keydeam projects and let's take a quick look at that now so we'll jump across to the timesheet environment and here we can see against our new Kip Jira integrated project we have against issue number one logged three hours on this day so that is the work log information being carried across to automatically populate the timesheets in Keydeam projects as well so this has been a demonstration of how Keydeam projects can be integrated with Jira to give us a bimodal mixed mode view of our project uh, allowing your agile team to continue to work in their agile tool of choice whilst having that information transferred seamlessly across to Keydeam projects to give us that mixed mode view. Uh, this integration can be implemented as is or used as a basis for bespoke integrations to suit specific customer use cases and configurations of Keydeam projects and Jira.